are curious about how to do filling on the software. So what I'm going to do is show you a little bit of that. I'll go ahead and pull this up a little bit for you guys. Okay. Right. Let's see here. So as you can see, I've got Tim and, Tim and Tom show on the screen. Um, you'll notice that it is boxed kind of lettering. So there's an outer and an inner line that makes a white space up. Um, basically, this is the kind of lettering that you're going to need if you want to fill. It's got to have boundaries all around an enclosed area. And in our instance, it's just... We have, what kind of font do we got here? We got Lucado Fax Regular. So anything that, again, has a box letter. So just to show you what we're doing right now, if you come over to your WYSIWYRE, which is your preview screen, and you click on it, Tim and Tom Show looks exactly like it's supposed to right now. So how we're going to get to 2D filling is we have to change the properties of the colors that we're doing. So in this instance, we have black as our color. So when you come over to your colors tool, which most of you already know how to get to, which is down here and it just says colors, it pulls up the 10 colors that you have available. In our instance, we're doing black. So let's take a look at the properties of black. On the properties, you'll see everything that is black Right up here on the top, you've got, it should, it'll just say plotting, which is just etched engraving. What we want to do is, it's important to always leave your default colors what they normally are. So in our instance, most people will engrave with black, and then they'll have another color that you want to change the property of that you're going to use a lot. So if you're going to use filling a lot, don't change the default color, which is black. You want to pick something else. In this instance, I'm going to pick green. So I'm going to pick green, and then I'm going to tick, click on properties. And right here, earlier, I set up 2D filling already. Up here where it used to say plotting, when you click on the drop-down arrow, you'll see boring, 2D on surface, 2D in bottom. You want 2D on surface because that's what you're doing. You're not doing a three-dimensional object. You're just doing filling that you want to do right now. So under the 2D filling on surface, you have two options. You have this radial looking object, and then you have this straight line ones. On the second line one, this is called hatching. This is typically what people are going to want, because this is what you're used to seeing. Beside the hatching is what are your options. This very first option right here is what is most important. You'll see that it's marked in a percentage. In our instance, it's defaulted to 50%. The 50%, the reason why these two options over here on the right are very important is this right here tells you the percentage that each one of these lines will move over. You'll notice down here under Available Tools is a tool database of every cutter that we have. What you want to do is find the cutter that you have. In this instance, I have our acrylic cutter marked down. And for example, it's a 0 .010 cutter. All right? So what this means up here is it will move with every single line. It will move half of the distance, 50% of the distance that your cutter is. So in this instance, it's 0 .010. It will move 50% over that same distance. The second one is the degrees. If you want a different look or a different feel, you can change the degrees that the lines are hatched at. So if the lines are typically at a zero degrees, they will go side to side. So we're moving 50% over and at a zero degrees. So it's going to go side to side and move 50% 50 50 the distance of your, your 10 hundredth cutter. So, we're going to say OK. You'll come over and select your selection tool. Up on the top left, it's the arrow. You'll select your text, and then you're going to double left click the color that you want it to be. Red is highlighted. 
We get a lot of calls on a daily basis where people don't see the colors changing. If it's highlighted, it's in red. So you need to click off, and now you'll see that it's in green. So what we can do now is go back to the preview, and now you'll notice that the letters are filled in. And they're going to show you exactly what it's going to look like. Which is what WYSIWYR stands for, incidentally, is what you see is what you get. And that's how you do 2D filling.